If you have an older solid state rig and would like a pan adapter display, the Hi-Z IF tap board is the answer. The Kilo Delta 2 Charlie Hi-Z IF tap board is designed to provide an IF output for solid state transceivers that do not have one. The tap board is designed to present a high impedance to the IF circuit minimizing loading on the signal path. The board is small coming in around an inch by inch and a half making it easy to install in tight places. Wiring the board only requires three connections, IF in, IF out, and power, and comes with instructions showing the connection points for your rig. There are a few versions available depending on the IF frequency of your rig. I recently installed one in my FT736R. After removing the covers, I located the RX unit and removed the shielding. I then marked a hole on the back of the 736R to drill a hole for the SMA chassis mount. While using a vacuum, I carefully drilled the hole, then made sure no metal was left in the radio and mounted the SMA connector. I wanted to connect to the IF post filter, so I removed the RX unit so I could solder a wire to the D07 diode anode. After reinstalling the RX unit, I connected a wire to pin 2 of the J10 connector. Then I set the IF tap board in place using the supplied double-sided tape and soldered the wires to the board. Ground was provided through the SMA cable. You want to try to keep your IF wire as short as possible. Next, I reassembled the radio and connected the IF output to the SDR Play RSP1A. Then in SDR Uno, I went to Settings, O-Rig, and set the IF frequency and clicked Enable. Now I have a pan adapter on the older FT736R.